This is SV5102 uh, modem, and I have people ask me to make a video for Ulink NT to program it. Uh, first of all, uh, this is the board, and the main connection is on, on this area, and there's a connector here called 303, and the flash chip is inside there. Uh, on the web page, we can go to the Ulink NT and Ulink NT devices. I have just updated this document of SD5102. And there is a photo how to make the connection here. And I also made the connection diagram here as well. So the diagram says um, here is um, on this side, pin 1 is here and pin 2 here. So diagram here, um, the U-Link NT pin 1, which is 3.3 volt, is going to be the ISV pin, which we need to pull the uh, pin 9 of this connector. Pin 9 is 1, 3, 5, 7 here. And make this one to pull high. And in here, we use 3.3 volt from the U-Link NT. And then the ground, which is pin two here, and uh, the rest pin will be four pins of uh, DI, DO, um, SCK, and CS, which is uh, very 100% matches what we get from the Udin Kenti, which is uh, pin 10 is pin 10 here, like pin 10, pin 10, which is SI and then SO with pin eight and then pin six. Here is the soldering of the connector with the one side cable to the Ulink NT. And we will connect things like this. And you need to give the regular 120 volt from here, not using the, uh, the other way, like 3.3 volt to, to this connector, even though it, it is working, but it's much easier to have the power from here. And uh, you can see the pin out here is pin two, which is white, is ground, and the purple, which is CS, and here is IO, uh, IO3, and IO2 will be green, which is clock, and then the orange is DO, which is pin uh, here is DO is pin 8 and pin 10 is the DI or, S or the SI. Here is we connected the modem with the regular 12, uh, 120 volt here and the USB link NT is connected like so. And on the diagram here, we can see only SI, SO, SCK and ground. So now let's give power to the modem. And you can see the LED light on. We can power on the, or plug in the U-Link NT. And then you can select and detect the flash. So let's make a, a backup first. And you can see the data is red. And if we can, we can try to verify again, make sure it's there and let's save the flash and let's make it another name call backup and let's erase everything And see if it's erased. Yeah, it is now. Let's put this back. So where's the backup? Here, backup. And we can try to program it.
Yeah, nothing very fancy here in this video it just shows the basic connection of SPI flash on this mode and it's quite easy and you do not need to have find the 3.3 volt it's just using the ISP pin which is already on the connector here and put a regular power supply to the modem.